Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. There is a new image generation model called the Hunyuan Image 3.0, which has been open sourced. From the benchmark, it looks very promising. The performance is very close to some of the other top ranked models. And also from the example generated images, we can see that the quality wise, it looks also very promising. The best part is that the Hunyuan Image 3.0 is open source. So in this video, let's see how to run it locally. It requires quite a lot of GPU VRAM. So I had to rent some cloud GPU to test it. This is the machine I rented. So this is a Linux machine. It has three NVIDIA H100 GPUs. Total amount of available VRAM is three times 80 gigabytes per GPU. So that's 240 gigabytes. For the installation, just follow the GitHub repo. It's quite straightforward. Run it line by line on the command line. So you can install all the dependencies. There is also a Gradia based demo included. So that way you can make it interactive. This is how it looks for the user interface. It's a chat based interface. You can enter your prompt into the chat box and then send it to the model to generate your image. Let's give it a try. I will enter my image prompt into the chat box. Click the submit button. So that way the model will able to process it. And on the right side, we see that there is a progressing bar on the terminal. And on the bottom part, there is the monitoring for the GPU and the CPU. For the GPU, we can see that the three GPU are quite busy. Because of the model is a mix of export model, I think uh, not all the model need to work at the same time. They can alternate. For the VRAM usage, we see that for the three GPU, they are pretty much at a capacity, almost 97, 98%. So I think I really recommend that to use at least four GPU instead of three to be safe. All right, we see that it completes the generating. For 50 steps, it took 2 minutes and 17 seconds. The speed is for each iteration at 2.74 seconds. Compare with some of the other models, such as Flux, Quen Image, it's not very fast. I think it's because of the model architecture difference. It's a completely different model from the Flux or Quen image, but I'm sure that uh, there will be some optimizations. Let's uh, hope for that. Next, I also want to show you some failed example. As I mentioned earlier, the VRAM usage for the three GPUs are almost at uh, capacity. Indeed, uh, in this case, when it uh, completes the 50 steps, it just showed uh, the auto memory arrow. So for this reason, I really recommend that to use at least uh, four GPU. To sum up, I think it's pretty straightforward to running the model locally, given that you have sufficient uh, hardware. And uh, make sure that you use at least uh, four GPU for that. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and uh, share it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.